Hi. You probably already saw the, the title and the thumbnail part. Um, so sit down. Uh, your mother and I are getting divorced. <laughs> this video is gonna be in three parts. TLDR explanation and then clerical stuff at the end. So TLDR first. So I'm going to be ending Darren for super president. Uh, I know. Yeah, um, but I will be making other content instead. It's been a long time coming. First off, if you like my gaming stuff or playing games with me on live streams, I will have a new channel. It's called Rainproof Gaming. It is the top link in the description. If you want to see more gaming stuff with me in it or me making it, uh, I would love for you to stop by. Say hi. Next Saturday or Sunday, we'll be doing a sort of welcome welcome stream uh so if that's your if that's your jazz come on down second if you want more general video comedy sketchy whatever horrible trash from the dumpster water that i pour into a shot glass just for you uh check out the other channel i'll be putting stuff on rainproof media that one actually has some things on it that i previously did with my friend dj the other person who looks like a human being I know there's only so many human beings that look like humans, roughly seven to eight billion of us. So that is the second link in the description. Third off, the third link in the description is the Minecraft server. You might ask yourself why that takes so long. Well, um, there we had a couple of vandalism attacks right at the end of when the server was going, which partially led to why it was taken down. So I just didn't have time in my schedule to go in and kind of like look around for graffiti, scrub it off, put the fires out, blah, 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 save it into its own thing, making sure I found a good place I can host it. I've done all that, so if you want to do whatever you want with that, just do it. You want to play it on your own, host your own servers, make your own community. Server is there for anyone to have it. That's the third link in the description. It's a drive link. Um, so you all have your own version of our Minecraft server as it stood finally. Because of the griefing, there may be slight assembly required in some areas. I apologize in advance. <laughs> Moving on to the second part of the video, the explanation, which is the annoying one, where I have to seem grown up and responsible. I'm 27. Why am I doing this? Uh, well, if you've known me for a very long time, and I'm talking years and years, um, this is not the first project I've done, actually. Before Super President, I actually had a, uh, a couple of Tumblr blogs that were semi-popular, like 70-ish thousand uh, followers. Um, and then I actually made the original audience of Super President by posting my first videos on those blogs. Most people hated it. If you are actually somebody who is still around from when I was doing that Tumblr blog and came through from that, I am completely shocked and floored and I have a giant amount of respect for you. So thank you. Thank you to everybody. But for those people, why are you still here? I originally got into video making as like a personal improvement, long-term build a thing thing, um, which is really evidenced by how terrible my original videos were. But something I find really interesting is over time it became a huge part of my life and like part of my career and jobs I've been at and client work I do. So it's, it's crazy how much things grow. Now there are several specific reasons for why I would change this channel over. Let's go through them. Start small. Um, I wouldn't mind being a little bit less family friendly, mainly for the live streams. It's really annoying. Uh, not that I need to watch my mouth, um, but mainly just because uh, the games I play, it's really hard to find ones that are properly censored. And I end up getting a little bit of anxiety making sure we have like Jackbox we almost did until I realized the family friendly mode just censored the prompts, but not the, <laughs> the responses. So if we got viewers on, they could just drop whatever F-bombs or whatever they wanted, which was difficult for me to, to find games. Among Us has been great, but that... That's a short list that will that will run out eventually. <laughs> I would like to open my options out and I also keep the sort of traffic light system I've got going. So green will still be family friendly, but maybe yellow and red. Maybe I'll do the swear. Maybe I'll swear a swear in time gone by. Two, this uh, channel has always been a bizarrely specific niche, which I have always loved. Um, Boy, growing a nuanced niche channel is very ineffective. Uh, it's extremely hard to explain what I do to people in real life. And if I can't do it, the YouTube algorithm is hopeless. Uh, it tries its best. No, it doesn't. Uh, it rotates between recommending me occasionally uh, beside late night TV shows, which I'm too weird for, educational channels, which I'm not educational enough for, and their viewers hate me, uh, and super political channels which also don't like that I'm not political enough. <laughs> the algorithm is desperately putting me in darts and throwing me at dartboards, hoping to find where I fit in the world. It's like a metaphor for puberty. 
It also doesn't help that I, on the channel, tend to do quite a variety of things in the general topic, and people are not all here for the same thing. Some people love flags and vexillology. Some people love gourmet cuisine type stuff. Some people are here for micronation stuff only. Some people here for the live streams and the community things. Problem is, it ends up being like a party. Everybody's always pushing you to order more of whatever pizza they want a slice of, um, which ends up with some pretty weird pizzas. It also doesn't help that in the last few years, YouTube is kind of changed how it works. Um, they don't go on views anymore. Now it's more about percentages. What percentage of people who see your channel sub to it? What percentage of people who sub to your channel watch your videos? What percentage of each video do your subs tend to watch? Being a variety show is not good for any of those things. YouTube is great about having extremely defined lines and clear buckets they can sort you all into, which I know that there's definitely people on my channel that wanted me to be uh, a realist micronation channel, which I never was. But there were also people that really wanted me to be a gaming channel, <laughs> which on that note, most of my recent subs are here from gaming live streams and all of my most popular recent videos were gaming related which I found interesting when I looked back at the things. I feel like I'm being more successful in gaming, specifically without even trying, than the thing I've been putting effort into, which I understand, but it it is like, oh, okay, okay, fine. <laughs> Next one, you can't really rebrand a channel on YouTube. The problem is, is let's say I go from Super President to gaming videos. Um, everybody who is here for Super President doesn't want that, or at least a large portion of them. It's a complete change of topic. I would get annoyed if a channel I watched did that, um, which ends up people will unsub, people will watch way less, it'll just tank your analytics. Even me doing the slight shift, all the same topics, but the presentation format becoming slightly more late nighty, um, the subs went down like 60% in the last month or so. And I'm like, yeah, can't really pivot that much. Gave it a try, figured I'd give it a try before I threw in the towel, but that did not work. <laughs> that is nobody's fault, but again, you gotta try things to learn things, you know? Another thing as time goes on, YouTube is slowly becoming more politically correct and pushing away from political videos and pseudo-political videos, which you can have whatever opinion you want on that. The problem is, is I'm not a political channel, or at least I was never a serious one. Um, I've always been jokey in satire, and there was a brief time back in the day before they changed their ad policy where I had ads, and I was constantly getting demonetized and suppressed. And this was years before the demonetization wave of ridiculousness happened. So I got hit by that before it was an easy thing to be hit by. <laughs> so I, it was already due to the fact that YouTube probably sees my videos and thinks I'm a hardcore political channel with very strong opinions. <laughs> the other problem is, is that there's enough people who watch my videos that are basically the same way. They can't tell that I'm not serious. It actually led to a really interesting conversation I had with my dad about three or five or whatever odd months ago, um, he's like, hey, you should do a video on political apologies and and what's a good political apology. So I like sat down, did all the research, got to the camera. I was about to hit record and then I realized I'm like, oh, a couple of politicians had to do apologies this week, like worldwide or whatever. And I was like, I don't really want to be seen as as like trying to make satire of that or not. I got like genuine anxiety about the situation, <laughs> especially if, YouTube did the thing that YouTube always does and starts recommending me along videos of those things happening because now it looks like I'm trying to get involved when I've never tried to get involved. I was just trying to keep to my upload schedule and make good video time. <laughs> But yeah, YouTube is gonna start cracking down more on things that look political. Uh, they already have over the years. I have realized I'm sitting slowly more and more and some crosshairs slowly moving towards me. I'm like, oh, this is a matter of time. <laughs> uh, next one, uh, given everything I've said, I've always wanted to do collabs, but I always got weird anxiety that I would be like associated politically with whoever I collabed with. And it's also really weird and hard to either collab with anyone because of what my channel is or if somebody comes onto my channel, like shouting out like a baking channel or something, like it's a hard line to cross. <laughs> it's not easy, especially as well. A lot of people in, in this space, I guess, I guess Micronations will be the closest. I, I feel like I'd end up on talk radio or like a debate train when I genuinely don't want that. <laughs> It's like the opposite of what I would want to do. <laughs> There's probably more I'm forgetting right now, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, it's it's I've done done this for years. I like improving, and now it is time to move on. You know, uh, pick my own new dartboard, throw some darts, fail horribly, do well. Who knows? Okay, part three. Here's the boring clerical stuff. Um, 
uh, first off, Kiva, what will happen with Kiva? I will continue to do Kiva. I will continue to relend the money that gets paid back through Kiva. Um, I will probably keep doing it through the original group we have for Kiva. That way, when people see it, they won't be uh, like, oh, he just took all the money out and kept it. If I ever do take the money out of Kiva, I will make a video on whatever my main platform is saying, hey, I'm taking the money out of Kiva. I'm donating it to charity. Here's the charity. Uh, that money's earmarked for charity. I will never take it. <laughs> Number two, merch. Uh, one, I only ever sold one cup. Thank you to whoever bought a cup with an art of my face on it. <laughs> one, I will keep the merch going uh, indefinitely. When I move on to new channels, that will now just become a merch line in whatever merch we end up making for whatever channels. So it's a uh, legacy merch. <laughs> You will still be able to buy it as far as I want until the end of time, so do not worry about that. Um, I did mention that part of sales would be rolled into Kiva. I think it was a dollar from cups. Considering I sold one cup, that'll be one dollar. I'll try to keep that going. As I said before, no promises because life changes, but you know, as so far, I will roll one more dollar into Kiva, which I may have to round up because you cannot put one dollar increments into Kiva. <laughs> to those on my Patreon, you have all been amazing. People have given me actual money like not pennies, like dollars that, that has the non pennies on part of it. Wow. Um, I've actually gotten those <laughs> and those people have been absolutely incredible to me over the years and I cannot thank them enough. I will be messaging everybody on Patreon who is currently supporting me and saying, Hey, you do not have to support me anymore. If you do not want, I'll be moving channels, feel free to stop your support. Um, but there's another part with that as well. I will probably be changing the Super President Patreon over to a Rainproof Media Patreon. One, it's really easy for me to do my taxes because I already have all my tax stuff set up for that one. Um, because I, I declare my YouTube earnings on my taxes and everybody else who earns stuff should also do that. Um, second off, because I've had that Patreon for several years, it's actually grandfathered in at a lower cut that Patreon takes of each donation. Currently, they take like eight or 10%, but that account that I have, they only take 5%. I think it's 5%, I could be wrong. So that's why that'll happen, but everybody will get a message first and me will say like, hey, you can stop if you want. I won't be offended. <laughs> okay, onto the Discord. The, the final link in the description will be to Discord. Um, I already have a Discord for Rainproof Media set up because it'd be kind of a weird thing to transition the Super President one, same with the channel. Um, you can join if you want. That one, you're allowed to do swears. Welcome to the 2020 <laughs> round of things. Do not worry, I will not be taking down the Darren Super President Discord anytime soon. Um, I just want to give kind of an area where people who don't care about Super President will, you know, be able to do that on the other one. So we have something going forward. Okay. I think I've said all the things. Have I said all the things? I've said all the things. Feel free to let out any emotions you have in the comments. Uh, I understand people might be upset about this. Feel free to be upset at me uh, and the situation. Totally fine with that. Uh, I understand that if I was watching a YouTube channel for a really, really long time and they made such a heavy pivot, um, I might feel a little betrayed because of the time commitment I've spent with those people. Um, and I'm totally fine to be a, a target for those frustrations if anyone does feel that way. Um, you know, several years later and 250 some odd videos later, it's time for me to move on. Uh, if you'd like to come with me, I'd love to have you join me. And if not, I wish you all the best of luck in all of your journeys and all the things you do. I, I genuinely did appreciate every single person who was along for me at this ride, whether they, you know, rode with me for miles and miles and kilometers and <laughs> parsecs, <laughs> or whether they uh, uh, stayed on the ride for five minutes or one video. I appreciate every single person. I'll still be doing a community show on Monday. Um, just so that people can feel heard. I think it's really important for people to feel heard on things. Um, and then next weekend, Saturday, Sunday, I haven't figured out yet, we're doing a welcome live stream on Rainproof Gaming. So do not worry about that. I've got all the seats ready to go if you'd like to hop on the bus to where I'm going, or if not, have a wonderful life. <laughs> See ya. And this sad episode has been brought to you by Luke and Rachel, two amazing people who've been on this bus for an insane amount of time. They've been incredibly supportive. I love these people. They are great. They deserve every minuscule bit of, of, of love that they can get in this life. And I appreciate them every day. Thank you.